Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Okay. What you got going on here, Libra? I like this. So we have expectation, okay? We have courtship, distant horizons, and wealthy man. Okay. Okay. Are you are you meeting someone who maybe has their own business? It's gonna be someone very successful, very grounded, settled, you know, and you're hoping that this person, you know, is gonna make an offer to you. Yeah, to date, to move forward, to see a future together. I mean, I, I like this energy overall, but obviously let's look at this a little bit deeper. Alright, your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. It is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Okay, definitely could be a fellow Libra or Taurus. Scorpio energy here. Of the deck is the hermit that's Virgo. I mean, this is kind of, it's, I mean, it's kind of exciting. It does feel like there's kind of a difficult energy leading up to this. Like maybe some kind of initial disappointment between you and this person. But it may end up working itself out. Like they kind of see they don't want to miss an opportunity or something. I mean, some of you could actually work with this person. That might be part of the issue. There could be physical distance, maybe. Okay. Let's. Let's get more information here. So, the Justice card. Hmm. Signs uh, strongly here. Virgo, uh, fellow Libra, uh, Taurus, Scorpio. Could be any sign. A little bit of Earth here, a little fire. But How do you see the situation with the Justice card? Okay. I mean, this person feels like uh, mutual feelings, fun, playful. Almost like a feeling of like coming home or familiarity. Like you just you really like this person. Some of you might actually have already like known this person. But like it just for whatever reason it was kind of overlooked in the past. Uh, this person you know maybe was kind of hesitant or nervous about making a, a move towards you. Because again it can be like money involved. Or maybe they just got out of a relationship and now they're finally free to kind of pursue this. Um... With the high priestess. High priest. What is this here? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. It's it's like you've just been waiting for this person to make a move towards you. Like I said, for some you, this person could be older than you or maybe even like your boss or something. With the emperor, we do have Aries energy here. I mean, it does feel... Like there's something between you and this person where it's like people are watching, people pay attention. Like this person may have like a big reputation. They got to be careful. Maybe they're the boss or um, they're worried about how this looks professionally. They could be like higher up or somehow superior in like their position at work. They could be a public figure. Yeah, they could have their own business. And so they've been kind of just waiting, kind of dragging their feet, and you feel excited. It's playful. It's flirtatious. There's obviously a lot of tension between you and this person. You're picking up on it. They're picking up on it. There's a deep attraction and playfulness here. But it does feel like things are kind of beginning to progress between you and them. Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? What do you want to happen or feel like needs to happen? Okay, a couple things. Either, two things here that really stand out to me. Either maybe you work with this person, or there's some kind of a public figure. Like their work is very public. Or they may have in the past been in a relationship that maybe you had hoped would end or something. Um, this could be kind of unexpected Scorpio energy with that tower. 
or this person just to make a move towards you like for that like playful light flirting to kind of progress this person to get, take kind of take the lead and get more serious kind of suddenly unexpectedly just say something kind of boldly to you and we see you like kind of coming into the room confident You know, it's like when you come into a room, somehow like you demand attention, you know, it's like this person feels drawn to you. They cannot help take their eyes off of you. You know, nine of pentacles, holding your head high, confident, independent, you know, successful, ambitious, beautiful. Tell you about the nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's like, hmm, you could have heavy Taurus in your chart, but... I feel like somehow you and this person are somehow equals, even if they're like your boss. It's like they actually see you as someone who's very equal to them, very similar to them. You both could have like big reputations in your work or community. Um, you both could have been in situations in the past. They may think they may wonder if you're married. You really have your your eyes set on this person. You like them a lot. You might see them as the person that you want to be in a committed relationship with, that you want to have a new beginning with. Now, when we do see this person's energy, see Three of Swords, it could be that this person's healing from a breakup or separation. Yeah, it could have been a fire sign who maybe was unfaithful to them or just wasn't serious, as serious as they were. So it's like in the past, they reflect on it. Um, what do they think about you specifically? You're strong, you're confident, you know, they... They try to resist it, but they have a hard time taming their emotion when it comes to you or they're feeling six of wands. What do they feel about the situation? Again, it's like they're very proud. And I think that there is like they they're very curious to explore this with you, but I'll be honest when I say I think that they are healing from something. And again, whether it was something that was kind of brief in their life or something that was more serious. They are, like, trying to process and grieve and heal from it, but they are feeling like, you know, there's something between the two of you. There's potential there. They want to explore it. Yeah, they they kind of put you on a pedestal. They admire you. Intentions. They want to... Something unexpected here with the tower. What are their intentions? Leaving the past behind them and pursuing something new. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think that this person, like, wants to get serious right away. Like, I think that they do, like, want to date and, like, um, have some type of, like, how do I want to put this? It's not, it's not that they're trying to just, like, you know, have, like, a friends with benefits fling. But I do feel like this person wants to take things slow. You know, they're definitely interested in pursuing this. They could even, like, open this up to you very unexpectedly. But they are, they're not fully over the past person. So just be aware of that. But this person does really like you. They want to get more information about you. Yeah, they want to, they want to ask a lot of questions. They're a little bit emotionally guarded. It's like, it's a really hard, it's like maybe too soon for them to kind of, to jump into a relationship. But I don't think they're trying to like lead you on. I think this person kept secrets from them in the past. That's kind of the problem here. Like they may have unexpectedly found out that their spouse, or their girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever was like cheating on them or keeping secrets from them. So there's like some deep painful wounds. They're still, they're still excited about pursuing this with you, but they're still not fully healed. They may have had this interest in you before, but they didn't act on it. Obviously action, see five of swords. Okay, well, here we go. So we see this person making a decision here to communicate with you, to like, but they're still not over this past person. Okay. Ultimately, I do like this energy because I feel like this person has like always had this interest in you, but they just were not free to pursue you. And it might be a little bit soon, but this person, again, they're kind of, they're feeling like it's time, they need to move on. So, I mean, again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't force things that, you know, obviously clearly don't fit in your situation. They've thought about you a lot, and they've always kind of felt a connection and attraction to you. There's always been interest there, but they were doing the right thing or something. But it's like now they're free to pursue you. And it might be a little quick, but again, it's because they've, they're moving in quickly because they've had, like, these feelings, right? 
And so like they, they were asking you out. But what, what you do need to know is that they're not fully over this past person. Which, I mean, it's understandable. It's not like they're still like deeply, deeply, deeply in love. But there's a lot of pain here. And they may still care about that person. But they are coming towards you. Okay. They've given it a lot of thought. So, yeah, there's excitement. I mean, they're excited to kind of get to know you. But they need to be sure they can trust you. This person's very well established, very successful. They've been thinking about it a lot. You're, you've been waiting for this person to make a move. And now they finally feel free to do this. So, let's see. Additional messaging and guidance here. They're asking you out. You've been waiting for this. They're free to do it now. They're free to, to ask you out. Yeah. Okay. Your true love is already a part of your life. So here and now, there are they figure this out. It's like they've they've always had this interest in you. Like you know they've always you know kind of saw you and you know kind of wanted to act on it, but felt that they could not. You know, and so now they're deciding to go for it. Leap of faith. It is safe to make the move that you're considering. So it may be scary to kind of put themselves out there, but they feel like the time is right. It's like things have kind of aligned to kind of make room for the two of you to finally explore this. So they're, go they're going for it, right? Some distance will help bring clarity time apart. So they're separating from someone. And now it could be here that for some of you, this, this other person that was in their life um, may kind of come to realize as they're actually moving on moving moving on with you that hey wait a minute maybe i don't want this to end however i think this time part is going to make this person kind of real and getting to know you further is going to make them realize they deserve better than that balance one person is giving too much in this relationship and that was the thing they were even if again i don't i feel like how do i want to put this because this is kind of interesting like what's coming through i feel like this person never did anything they were always very respectful of the fact that they were in a relationship. Like they wanted to make, they may, may have been a bit of light flirting between the two of your or, or obvious interests, but they didn't act on it. Um, I think that this person was respectful of their relationship and really did all that they could to make it work, even if they weren't like, you know, head over heels, crazy, passionate in love. There's a lot of pain here because it feels like this person definitely was taken advantage of. And so there's, there's definite wounds here. Okay, but this person, it's like the more that they're getting to know you, spending time with you, being around you, they're realizing how good it feels to finally be connecting with someone who genuinely, mutually gives like the same amount of energy in a relationship. And it's just, it's balanced and nice between the two of you. Again, look at this. <clears throat> and the two of you might even like see each other more out of the office. Unplug. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this person... They just recognize there's a reason that it didn't work out with this person. Even if it's painful, even if it's hard to move past it. They finally have this opportunity here to explore something genuinely good. And I think the two of you are going to you know, do really well together. There's a lot of potential for the two of you. You've been waiting for this person to make a move. Now they finally are. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations. It is truly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Okay, bye-bye.